वेलकम टू द पार्ट थ्री ऑफ थ्रेट हंड यूजिंग जुपिटर नोटबुक गाइज सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एपिसोड अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू हंड फॉर अनादर एग्जीक्यूशन टेक्निक बट दिस टाइम वी आर गोइंग टू हंड फॉर पावर शेल रिमोट सेशन I will go inside my Threaten directory, and as you can see, I have already created a notebook, and I will open that up. And now, if you put a little concentration over here, just to look on the hypothesis, what we are trying to do. So, in this particular hypothesis, so adversaries can use PowerShell to perform a number of actions, right? Including discovery, you using uh, execution code. In addition, it can be used like code remotely via Windows uh, Remote Management, which is WinRM. and other services as well so what exactly we are trying to identify if there is a powershell process that is being run remotely that we are trying to prove in this hypothesis okay so at the same stage we are going to initialize our dataset and again it is quite same second step we are going to go for the data loading section and we are going to work on a dummy data set as the way we have done it in the last time as well so w get our execution data so we are going to simply reference the code from our previous built uh, notebook and we are going to take that particular data as well okay so now this is the data set if you just press a uh, shift enter the data has been loaded we are going to unzip that done so now let us go for the data parsing section okay so this data parsing section is quite simple as the way we are keep on doing it we are going to load inside our spark library and we are going to create a temporary file called empire once that is done this is the time when you just need to go for the hunting guys okay we are creating a markdown called like analytics 1 and this time what is the analytics one guys so what exactly we are trying to look for we are trying to look for a particular process that can run or a application host has started again the same kind of thing but this time we are going to look for the uh, 400 and 4103 event that we have the way we have done it in our past as well so this particular thing will give you the idea that whether you have a powershell process that is running into a system or not the way exactly we have done in our uh, previous notebook now moving on to our second analytics so what we are trying to cover over here so we are trying to look for the destination port of a connection is 49 Five nine eight five or five nine eight six. Okay, so we are trying to look for any incoming network connection where destination port is these two, and this will be hosted mostly like the system process. Okay, and uh, obviously the layer ID is forty four. So that means there could be a process. which is looking for this particular two port numbers and so basically a process connected to a port and it could be a powershell which we are trying to look for okay so if we run down this particular uh, uh, hypothesis or this particular analytics so what we are coming up with it so again just see event id is quite same as i told you right so this particular event id tells you that whether a process is connected to a port okay and destination port is these two as we have uh, listed down in our analytics section and layer id is 44 this is very much important guys so it will give you some kind of hint that in your system there is some process which is listening on this destination ports okay and that has been created by a process okay so now if you see the output section over here so we have a uh, source destination ip address and application name which is a system application by the way okay in your real time data set you would see this somewhere you would see there could be a remote ip address as well but our data is a uh, logical data and it is a dummy data so you won't see that okay so now moving on to our third analytics where we will try to see that a process creation abbreviation okay by uh, anything like a uh, WMS proof host or something like that okay so that can give you a real time scenario to identify whether you have a process that is named as wsm probe host which is has a active remote session with the target 
okay so that means they are from a process creation perspective we need to document any instance of this sucker is being spawned or not okay so that is our main intention okay because we have seen in our first uh, notebook that ws script was used to load up a powershell session now we have seen these particular two ports you can simply google what is these two ports all about okay and you will know that why we are targeting them okay and we are now targeting this particular process as whole okay so now let's see what this outcome and what is the actual query okay so this is quite simple we are going to target the process uh, parent process id as i told you right so w is the, the, the same process id what we have written in our uh, uh, analytics section wsm prove host okay which could be a new process it could be a, a old process as well and it should have a, a network connection with it okay so process created process that means a, a, a recon kind of process or recursive process now if you see the output over here so svc host has created this sucker and here this process which is the child process of it has created a powershell now you are able to correlate it right where from where we are coming to where now this svc host might not have any relation to create this child process even if you have created that one this process might not have a legit business to create a powershell right now to prove that we need to go for our next analytics guys okay so that is again very much important where we are trying to look for the same thing but we are trying to look for the windows sysmon log to prove that whatever we are trying to do so the same thing whatever we have trying to see in, in analytics 4 we are going to see the same thing okay but this time what is the difference we are going to see the event id one because this is windows sysmon log last time it was windows event log but this time it is windows sysmon log and as you see it is it has given you the same output that means we have a confidence score high there is something fishy going on to our network that goes on to our fifth analytics guys so what is our fifth analytics if a user connected to a port which port we have seen just now these two ports are constant but if there is a user which is trying to outbound on this particular port and not the anti authoritative work services that is a raise an alarm to us because we have seen powershell has been executed right using this process that was legitimate might not be legitimate but who knows it could be suspicious right so that particular reason we just need to run down this particular uh, uh, process at this particular point of time now remember guys this is a query where we are trying to look for the again windows sysmon log and what is windows sysmon event id 3 it is user connected to a port okay and event id is obviously the provider is a, uh, a sysmon log and whenever a user connected to a port it creates windows event id 3 we are look we are looking for the same uh, event uh, destination ports but the user should not be anti authority or network services now if you see the output guys you will be mesmerized you will see that there are users system users pg usta vo this three this users is same which is loading windows powershell guys right which is loading windows powershell it is trying to communicate these ip addresses okay and again system is also trying to communicate these two ip addresses that means in your system where you have seen this particular powershell process has been spawned right and it is using a network connection on these two ports but the user is not a like service user or network authority or anti authority user it's a named user and it's a system user where might be there is a privilege escalation who knows but we have identified something there is something going on something fishy to prove our hypothesis we will move on and we will pass our uh, this hypothesis section now to our incident responder just so that they can look for and they can try to identify what is going on to this particular workstation 5 
and what is this powershell process is up to they can do the reverse engineering they can do a simple malware uh, hunt on this particular process to try to identify why this process which is spawned by another malicious process is trying to do the outbound so hence we rest our hypothesis again as a true positive that's all for this particular episode i will see you in the next one